Pescoço. Then after you have great coaches, you get great players, you have a great organization, and you tell them one thing. Just win, baby. The Las Vegas Raiders came off of a historical low, losing 3-0 and just an embarrassing loss to the Minnesota Vikings. And how did this team respond? Well, coming off of a short week on Thursday Night Football and shorthanded with injuries to keep players the Raiders came out and vastly exceeded expectations and not only beat the Los Angeles Chargers, but they completely annihilated them with a final score of 63 to 21, which is absolutely crazy. And really, it's crazy for a team to come off of an offensive performance like they had versus the Vikings to then four days later put 63 points on the board, which is also a franchise record for this team. The Raiders are now 6-8. and eight. And what exactly does this win mean for the team moving forward, especially, you know, winning in that type of dominant fashion? Now, with the Raiders being 6-8, and eight, I still see it being a long shot for us to make the playoffs. You know, essentially we would have to win out and even then we would have to need some luck to go our way with certain scenarios with other teams losing and stuff like that. So look, it definitely makes it difficult for me to come on here and say we should be excited for a potential playoff push when it's still a huge long shot at this point. And even if the Raiders are going to miss the playoffs, I still think that this win... And not only just to win, but winning in the dominating fashion like they did is really a big plus for the morale of this team and for the locker room and just for the franchise in general. I think it's important to see that we have a team of players who show that they can respond when they are hit with adversity just coming off of an embarrassing loss. You know, Aiden O'Connell, he came off of his worst performance this year and the next game he goes out and has his best performance of his young rookie career, throwing four touchdown passes, zero interceptions. He essentially had a perfect game. The Raiders offensive line who's really struggled throughout the whole season. The O-line definitely showed up yesterday and they shut down Khalil Mack for the whole game and they just dominated up front opening up the holes in the running game. We didn't have Josh Jacobs but we were able to run the ball effectively and a huge part of that was thanks to the offensive line. And last but not least, I mean this coaching staff showed us that they can respond and they had this team fully motivated and they had this team prepared from a strategic standpoint. Offensive coordinator Bo Hardegree called his best game so far on offense. And Antonio Pierce came out and showed everybody that they should not fully count him out just yet to be the Raiders head coach of the future. The Raiders came in and were fully locked in. Antonio Pierce had this team locked in and we dominated the Chargers which it's never easy to beat down a team like this, especially a divisional rival. And just from a morale standpoint, I think this type of victory will definitely help boost the franchise and it helps Antonio Pierce's case for sure. And you look, say what you want, this game was history at the end of the day and Antonio Pierce was part of this. That's something that nobody will ever be able to take away from Antonio Pierce. So definitely got to give him his props on that. And look, this was a great performance by the Raiders, but I also got to mention the fact, you know, we have to take into consideration that the Chargers looked absolutely terrible terrible out there. I thought the Raiders have had some pretty bad games, but wow, that was just absolutely terrible from the Chargers. The Chargers did not have quarterback Justin Herbert, but it doesn't really matter. Just in general, that whole team looked uninspired and it really looked like a team that had fully quit on their head coach and it ultimately resulted in them firing Brandon Staley. The Raiders dominated on offense. We dominated on defense. We dominated in the trenches both sides. There was really zero aspects where the Chargers beat us in this game and that's what led to that huge lopsided score so yeah it's definitely important to mention that this was an inferior opponent with the chargers 
And that's why I'm not gonna just jump on a limb and say we're gonna make the playoffs because in order for me to say something like that, I gotta see us beat Kansas City and that's our next opponent, that's our next real test. Look, if the Raiders can beat the Kansas City on the road, on Christmas Day, on prime time, if we can do that, then this team will definitely have my attention moving forward. At that point, you just have to win two more games, which is still not easy in the NFL. But when it comes to any playoff talk, let's see what they do versus Kansas City and go from there. But until then, I'll take this victory for what it is. And that was just a clear demonstration that this team has not packed it in yet. And that this team is still out there playing for something down the stretch. The Raiders may not make the playoffs, but even if we don't, you can't deny the fact that this is a loss that our rivals, the Los Angeles Chargers, will never be able to live down. And look, last but not least, I gotta give a huge shout out to the defense. The defense played absolutely lights out yesterday and the defensive line just continues to show they're looking dominant out there which is so exciting to see we had defensive end Malcolm Coons completely dominate Tyree Wilson was at the D tackle spot once again he looked very effective creating some real push in the pocket of course you got Max Trosby on the other side doing what he does creating havoc the Raiders D line completely dominated up front and that translated to the whole defense the defense was able to get back on track when it came to creating turnovers and not only that this defense was able to put points on the board with the fumble scoop and score and with Jack Jones on that pick six so we definitely got to give a huge shout out to Patrick Graham for his overall work thus far this year with this defense and really Patrick Graham in my opinion is showing Mark Davis that no matter what what happens in terms of the head coaching situation if Antonio Pierce gets fired if he gets hired whatever the case may be I think Patrick Graham has clearly shown that he needs to be back next year as the Raiders defensive coordinator I think we need to run it back with this defensive unit. I think Mark Davis, you know, whatever his decision is going to be in this offseason, he has to really make it clear that Patrick Graham is his guy on defense and that we're going to continue to ride this wave. The Raiders defense has vastly surpassed my expectations. You know, before the season, I was hoping this defense could be like around a, a 15 to 20th ranked defense. Right now, we're getting pretty damn close to a top 10 defense, which is absolutely phenomenal. We got some of our young players starting to step up. Tyree Wilson is looking a lot better which is you know so exciting to see especially since he still has so much more potential to fulfill and this is the first year and who knows how long that we've had a legitimate defense so i just think we cannot afford to potentially throw that away next year we have to keep riding this wave on defense the raiders have a great group of guys on the defensive side of the football and we can only continue to build on that too in these next coming off seasons through the draft and through free agency so look i'm very excited about the future of this defense with patrick graham but the raiders show they're going to continue to fight for the rest of the season Antonio Pierce clearly showed that his team has a lot to fight for down the stretch of the season. But Raider Nation, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What did you guys think of this dominating performance from the Raiders? Let me know in the comment section down below. But with that being said, Raider Nation, that's all for you guys in today's video. Anybody that's new to the channel and you guys love Raider related content just like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next one.